hot flashes uh, while you're sleeping. You'll wake up and you are soaked. For Robert Kingsley, the most debilitating part of having post-traumatic stress disorder is not having control over his own body. You're still shaking, your, your heart's racing, your mind is going, you know, 180 miles a minute, and it's a, you know, complete loss of control. Robert suffered a traumatic brain injury while serving in Iraq. During a routine convoy, an IED detonated. You can barely see traces of his injuries physically, but his shaking hands are a clue to his emotional wounds. It changes your idea of how life should be. He takes oh, nine tough. different prescription pills to treat his PTSD. The fear and anxiety always there. But research suggests there may be a way to stop that fear from flooding Robert's brain, a type of miracle pill that could erase trauma from the mind. The recent work we've done is really to look at um, not only how do you learn an, a fear memory or emotional memory, um, but also the possibility of erasing uh, or uh, reversing the learning and actually erasing a traumatic uh, memory. It sounds a bit like science fiction, but neuroscience research has been underway for years, studying how fear forms in the brain. Dr. Richard Huguenier spent more than 30 years researching memories. Testing on mice, he and his team take a closer look on a molecular level how trauma forms in the part of the brain called the amygdala. They found certain proteins appear right after we experience trauma, and these proteins are the key to removing painful memories. In theory, you could actually target drugs to this MGLUR pathway and actually use drug treatments to, to help erase traumatic memories. Development of such a drug is still at least 10 years out, but the need couldn't be greater. One in five veterans come home from war suffering from PTSD or depression. So far, much of the neuroscience drug research has been limited to mice and rats. This NYU lab studies fear response in humans. Researchers here say there are huge roadblocks for a drug to be used on people. Right now, we aren't able to use these techniques in humans, so we can't really test if it's going to have a clinical outcome now. But I think it's a little soon to say, because I can inject a drug in a mouse brain and change a memory, I should be able to do it in humans. We're not quite there. There are also ethical concerns. Should our memories be tampered with? Dr. Rachel Yehuda treats PTSD patients at the VA hospital in New York. Although she agrees the research is useful to understanding memories, she says the pain from trauma serves a very important purpose. Everybody who's ever grieved knows you have to go through the hurt to come out from the other side. But to Robert Kingsley, it's not the painful memories of war he finds hard to live with. He just wants to be able to sleep through the night without waking up in a panic. What I'm hoping is it's, it's going to change the ability for somebody to live more of a normal life. In New York, Bonnie Ghosh, Associated Press.